Hello everyone and welcome back. We're going to continue building our color game. There are several things I'd like to accomplish in this video. They're all mostly small, so we should be able to knock them out relatively quickly. First, I want to set up the um, message div or the stripe div, we'll call it. That is this thing right here, this white stripe that has the buttons inside of it. We just want to kind of get that set up. Second, I want to add an event listener to the new colors button. So inside, we're going to have a new colors button right here. We're going to put that inside the stripe, and then we're going to add an event listener to it. Add event listener to new colors button. I want to add the logic to that event listener. And there's a few things inside of that. 3A is going to be to generate new colors. The second step, I need to indent this to make it a little bit clearer is going to be to pick a new color, winning color. And the third step is going to be to change the color display. That's this part right here, this RGB. And the fourth step, 3D, is going to be to change colors of the squares. Because we're generating new colors and we need to reflect that in these new squares. For 3E, we need to update the color display to the new face color. And finally, 3F, we need to change the title background back to black, a la ACDC. So let's get to it. Set up the stripe div. That's going to be in our HTML. Over here, we need, let's see, right in here we have message container. I'm actually going to update that where it says message container. I'm going to make this a stripe. So over here, message container. Do I have it? Nope, I'm not using it at all in JavaScript. I am using it here, so Stripe. There we go. And then I'm gonna add a button. Button, the ID is going to be reset button. New colors, I believe that's what it says. Yeah, it says new colors by default. Once you win, it'll say play again, but it says new colors by default. So let's save and refresh. Look at our ugly button. Yay, ugly button that does absolutely nothing yet. So over in our JavaScript, we have now set up our stripe div. Done. Now we want to add an event listener to that. So the first step, remember always, is to select and then modify. So we have to select it. Let's find where we're selecting our elements. Const reset button equals document dot get element by ID reset button. Pretty sure that's what we called it. Yep, reset button. So we've selected it. Now we're going to add an event listener to it. I'm going to do that down should it below the squares or above the squares. Let's just do that above the squares, just arbitrarily. There's not really any real reason to or not do that. But reset colors button. So we're going to do the reset button. Dot add event listener. It wants to be whenever it's clicked. And now you add your function. Now remember you want traditional function. Always a traditional function declaration on event listeners. Even though we don't need this on here, um, we're still going to want to do that just because you want to be in that habit. So we now ha added the event listener. Now we got to add some logic to that. We're going to generate new colors. So we are going to set colors equal to generate random colors. Simple enough. So now we have a new colors array. And we want to get six colors. Right now it's hard-coded, but we'll add in that later once we get our state set up and add an easy mode in. So we generate a new colors. Next one is to pick a new winning color. Fortunately, we already have a function for that called pick color. So picked color equals pick color. Easy enough. We're going to change the color display. That's the RGB right here. Did we call it color display? We did. So we're just gonna, I'm just going to copy this. Stick it right there. We want to change the colors of all the squares to reflect the new colors. That's going to be a for loop. For let i equal zero, i is less than colors dot length, i plus plus. Squares i 
dot style dot background color equals colors i. Those of you who have really been paying attention might notice that we are basically just redoing code that we've already done because we're setting up the squares here. This is just the for for loop where we're setting the squares and their colors right there. This is that's the exact same minus all this other stuff. So this is not very dry, so we'll have to refactor that later. But for now, this is fine. I want to update color display to the new picked color. I already did, I already did that. Um, I may have had a brain fart when I was setting these up. Change the title background back to black. So we called it title. So inside of here, I'm just gonna do it before the for loop. Title dot style dot background color equals black. Now we have our reset button. Let's see if it works. Boom, 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 boom. It works, looks like. Let's win so that we get the color. And awesome. All right, and that is the last little piece. So we did, we added a lot of logic in here in this one video, but it was all to this new color button. So now whenever we hit it, you'll notice that it does not get rid of that yet. We'll add that in a future video. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks. Thanks.